What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today's video actually comes from a comment I received yesterday asking about some errors a user was having when dealing with really small objects. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix those errors so that you can get your geometry to show up even when your objects are really small. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so this video is based on a comment I got yesterday where there was a small dome that um, Brad R was trying to create and he was running into issues where it either erased a lot of stuff or it made a bunch of fragments. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about how to fix this issue inside of SketchUp. And so one of the things you may have run into when working in SketchUp is when you're dealing with really small models and note that my default model is to scale. So if we're dealing with some really small models like these down here, you start having some weird issues. So for example, let's say that we had a dome shape kind of like Brad shape. So um, this is a very small model. So it is, it has a diameter of a half inch. And so if we were to take this and we were to try to use the follow me tool in order to extrude this object, you can see how you run into an issue where at the very top, you don't actually get the geometry in here. And the reason for this is because what happens is your edges or your curves are made up of these really short edges. When you extrude these, it creates really small geometry and SketchUp starts having trouble handling that. And so there's a really easy way to fix this, which is just to take your object and scale it up by a known factor. So for example, let's say we were to take this object, select it, and then tap the S key, we'll scale it up by a factor of 10, right? So we'll just scale it up by a factor of 10. And then we can run our follow me tool like this. Notice how it gives us all of our geometry in here. Uh, I'll go ahead and reverse the faces, but then we can take the geometry that's created just by triple clicking we can tap the S key to activate the scale tool and we'll scale it back down by a factor of 0.1. And so now, if you look at this, what this has done is this has created our geometry and we created it by a scale factor that we knew and then we scaled it back down. So now we have our geometry in here as we need. And so this is going to work for other kinds of geometry as well. Right now, if I was to select these three edges that made up this curve and use the follow me tool, I start running into issues where my geometry isn't 100% created here at the beginning. So what we can do is we can take the same thing, we'll scale it up by a factor of 10. And there's the tip of my shoe in the model We can take this, use the follow me tool in order to extrude this. Notice how you get a smooth extrusion. Then you can just triple click, scale it back down by 0.1. And so the issues get worse the more segments are in your curves when these are really small. So for this one, for example, you're gonna have even more issues because you have even more edges in these curves. So if I was to use this, activate the follow me tool, then run this, you can see how I start running into issues where I have like chunks missing out of my model. So this is missing a piece right here, it's missing an end piece, it's just not very complete. And so what we can do, is just the same process that we had before, scale this up by a factor of 10, create our extrusion. Notice how this gives us a nice big smooth extrusion. Then we'll just take all of these and just select them all and just scale them back down by 0.1. And I'm gonna go ahead and move. You do have to be a little bit careful when you do that, however, just to make sure that you don't run it into your other geometry because it can accidentally merge. But you can see how we can use this method to create really smooth, clean geometry, even with small shapes. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know you could do this? Do you have any other questions? Um, I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.